don't know if many of you know who I am. My name's Arnold. And like I guess many of you, I'm also just a, a chef. We cook. And for me, it's, a, it's certainly an honor to be hosting this first of a kind um, Pillsbury Breakers and Food Service um, workshop. I'm sure there'll be many more to come. We're going to be uh, working a little bit with the freezer to oven cookies, the um, tube set batters, which is a, a fantastic um, way of doing it. It's got two funny points. And the cinnamon scrolls. What we're going to play with now, we're going to take some, uh, some of the cinnamon scrolls and we're going to turn them into a dessert. A classic, not so classic bread and butter pudding with the cinnamon scrolls. What we've got over here is just some, some pre-baked um, cinnamon scrolls. Um, very, very easy. We're just going to cut these up. We're going to do a cinnamon scroll pudding with some cranberries, some chocolate, and a splash of brandy. So equal parts uh, cream and, uh, and milk. Share your skills in breaking, breaking those eggs. In a gentle whisk. Now, ideally, you want to leave your, your scroll or just soak it a little bit in, in, in this mixture. I'm going to pop these in. What you'll do is just let this soak in there for 20 minutes to half an hour, just so that the custard goes soaking nice and completely into the, in, into the cinnamon scroll. Um, a little splash of brandy. We, are, of course, are pairing this with cranberries, which are fantastic and yummy, and we always have to have some decadence. Uh, over and above the deck of this we've got already with the fantastic cinnamon scroll and so we're adding a little bit of chocolate. What we're going to do is just going to layer this in. Just put uh, a layer of that and then a sprinkle of that and another layer of that. Don't forget the chocolate, there's lots of ladies who like chocolate. <laughs> and then we're going to pour a little bit of that custard in. Right, just pour a bit of that, pour a bit of that over there, yeah. And then that goes into the oven. Cinnamon works very well with a lot of things. So you could use dried peaches, fresh peaches, uh, white chocolate, fresh raspberries. You could even make a savory one with this um, by adding some very strong cheeses like I did with the cheddar, uh, but or feta, fresh herbs. Make a bread and butter pudding, a savory one. Maybe with a bit of ham on the side or whatever, nice hot, you know, a little ramekin. Could be, could be good. I haven't tried it, but I just thought of that as I was speaking to you. So, <laughs> see, the cinnamon scroll just inspires me.